Yeah, well, my friends, how are you? How are you doing today? Are you doing good today? I am doing fantabulous. So as per stated, we gonna do favorites today. That's what I'm gonna do. I have some random ass favorites that I would like to tell you about and uh, let's get into it. Baby Hoyt's in here because I cannot trust him to be out in the world on his own because he fucks my life. So if you hear some random ass noises, you'll know what that is. I've just got him to stop licking his jennies on camera because he decided that it would be a good idea to lick jennies for half an hour before I push play. Okay, or record, not play. Okay, let's get into it. First of all, let me just say, you're gonna be here for a really long fucking time because I got a lot of stuff. I got a lot, I've got so much. This is like the epitome of a random math space because there's just all the randomness everywhere. So it's time to do it. Let's just do it, let's just do it. Here we go, let's do it. I guess I'll start with the makeup, seeing as how <laughs> this is a makeup channel. So a couple of the things y'all have already heard me talk about in previous videos, but I would just like to reiterate how much I love these products. First things first is this little ditty right here, which became a favorite of mine from the very first time I used it. Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade gel this is a newer product and if y'all remember i don't know i think it was like get ready with me or something like that i had mentioned this or maybe i tried it in like a full face of like trying new shit or i, I don't know some along the lines of that you guys know i don't have a memory nor do i take the time to go back through my videos and check and see things and stuff okay so this let me tell you girl what i say this is so nice veronica girl it is so nice it this this is the best way i could describe it is as follows which i'm pretty sure this is how i i need to get my elbows off the table because my camera's leaning on the table and it's like shaking um the best way i could describe it is as follows which this is how i described it in that video and that is that do you see those ad campaigns where they're like, this is my brow before and this is my brow after and it's just after using this one little product and you're like, beach. <laughs> no, I don't think so, girl. But this really is that. If you see like on the display, it like alters for whatever, you see the before and afters and you're like, bench, please. You know they took some fucking eyebrow gel and had like flicked it in there, but they don't, it don't. When I tell you, look, this, it's the only thing I have in my brows right now, Veronica. When I say this is the only thing I have in my brows right now, this is the only thing I have in my brows right now. Like, the only thing. The only thing. My hair's a little crazy and it's going wild today, but as far as my brows, beach. They're looking a little unkempt. Let me, <laughs> let me put that out there. They're looking a little unkempt, but from far away, like if you like this far away from me, cause ain't nobody right here, they don't look bad. I'm like, shit, beach. And I did that on purpose cause I wanted you guys to see like how good of a product it is. Dude, it's so good. Oh my God, I love it so much. Thank you, Anastasia for that girl. Moving right along, the next thing I have is something that I've also been talking about in a lot of my videos. Those videos that I've had posted lately and it is these. These Wet n Wild fucking Loose Highlighters girl are life. Pretty sure I said in my last video or the video, the video before that, that at the time I had only had the You Glow girl. Well, I have recently come across I'm So Lit and when I tell you this has replaced my Mega Forever Starlet Powder, it has replaced my Mega Forever Starlet Powder. But 18, 20, 21 dollars, how fucking much it is. It's over 10 dollars, girl. That's how much it is for this itty bitty 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 little thing. This right here in the color I Am So Lit by the Wet n Wild is a complete and utter total dupe for this right here i'm so happy look oh my god oh my god i love it so much dude i am all about that motherfucking loose highlighter life girl like i love these they just blend into your skin so much better than a press one is i don't know what it is i don't know why loose highlighters are so much better than press it's like they show up on your skin better i have a problem with like pressed highlighters making my skin look like real dry and like alligator like for some reason i don't know y'all know if you have been with me for a while 
you know that I am insatiably picky about highlighters, especially pressed ones. Like, I don't want to color a strap of a color on my cheek when it comes to color. And I just, the formula has to be like a certain type of formula. Like, I can't fuck with this powdery ass shit where like powder's flying all over. My perfect press highlighter is a highlighter that you swipe your brush across and then no powder comes up because I know that formula is going to look the best on my skin just from past experience and it, these are no question which sounds really weird because like a powdery pressed highlighter it looks like shit but like the loose one doesn't i don't know girl i don't know it's fucking magic and all of it and you should go buy it or something because they're great other wet and wild product that i have are these little jelly eyeshadow pots i have not had a chance to get another one why I didn't do that when i bought the eyeshadow? I don't fucking know. The Mega Jelly eyeshadow highlighters. If y'all remember, did I say in my last Get Ready With Me or maybe the video before that? I can't remember, but I love these because they're such a good, like, one color. I should have worn it today, but I didn't. But if you go, like, two videos back, I think it is, I had this on my eyes. And I show you guys kind of how I use it. I want so many more colors of this. They're so nice for the summer when you don't want to wear a lot of makeup and you just want to kind of do like a one color thing, but you want it to stay there, but you want it to look nice. You want to look like you tried, but you really didn't. I want to look like a supermodel with the least amount of effort possible, Veronica. That is how I live my life. And this helps me do that so this also awesome and the both of these are under ten dollars so fuck me up veronica i will take that thank you last makeup -y thing that i have i have no clue if i've mentioned this in a favorites before but if i have i'm still using it so <laughs> okay it's this little kaja thing i thought okay so i think i had heard i think i talked about this when I did I think I did do like a full face of like new products and I talked about this in there too when I first heard anyone talking about it, it was Sam Ravendahl and she said basically the same thing that I thought is that wow the swatch is kind of dick but when you put it on your eyes it's like really sparkly it's really subtle it's like not too much they're so freaking nice they swatch horribly though because this is like the swatch like what that's what is that girl that's not a very good swatch right but when you put it on your eyes i don't know what it is i don't know if it has like this super fine like super unnoticeable glitter but it well no if it was unnoticeable you wouldn't see it on your fucking eyes would you so i don't know what it is it's magic it's magic just like the wet and wild and it's really nice and it's got like three little colors in here and sometimes i like to do like a little bronzer eye and then i put this on and then i put this in the middle it's just so nice girl it's so nice uh i don't really know what other colors they have because i don't look into things down in depth but this is very very nice and i like it very much so and I think it was like 15 or $17, which isn't bad because you get three shadows. So that. <laughs> so that's literally it for the makeup. Y'all know I've been like fucking this natural thing up lately. So that's, that's all I have for now. I've got some other stuff that I'm trying out, but I don't want to, I, I have just recently gotten it. So I don't want to put it in favorites because I haven't been using it that long, girl. Okay. I don't even know where to start because I have so much weird shit. Uh, let me start with hair. Why don't we do that? As you can tell, I have been wearing my hair on the natural side lately. I, as a young little girl <laughs> of age, uh, like kindergarten or something, had stick straight hair. I was born with stick straight hair. When I was in the second grade, my mom had got me a perm because she thought it would look cute. And ever since, my hair has been curly. <laughs> ever since. And as most curly hair people, I don't know what it is. I don't know why. But people with straight hair want curly hair. People with curly hair want straight hair. As with the majority of most curly hair people that I have come across who are like, oh my god, I am a fucking curly hair. I'm a nabo with you, girl. I'm right there with you. So, for years i hated my curly hair i straightened it out every day for probably the last fucking 20 years i've used a flat iron on my hair i have blowed my hair out like blowed it straight and 
At the beginning of the summer this year, I was like, you know what? I'll be fucking over it, girl. I'm just like so tired of like when I straighten my hair, if, if I get rained on, it starts to kink up and it looks weird because all I've got is this little kink here and then the rest of it's straight. Or if I blow it out and I go to the gym, God forbid, and I sweat and then it starts to curl up and then I got to straighten it again. And it was just so much. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to fuck up this curly thing. I'm going to fuck up this curly girl method thing, which I don't necessarily follow the curly girl method, but I follow it kind of, which I'm going to do a video all on how I got my hair to like recurl and everything because it did not look like this when I started. <laughs> not even close. There was like straight pieces everywhere. And honestly, I still have um a few like this right here like what are you i mean my entire head is curly and then you have this like one straight piece what the hell girl um i don't follow that method exactly but i do follow a method that i think works for my particular hair top which is very very fine and thin which i will be doing a video on and explaining everything but these are a couple of products that i use for my hair that work magnificently so the first thing i use is this Olaplex number six, which you cannot even fucking see because it's really bright. <laughs> uh, there he is. There he is. Looks like a these right here. So this is the Olaplex number six bond smoother leave in reparative styling cream. So I use this and I, honestly, I will say this is very heavy. A little of this goes a real, real long way. I use probably a little bit less than a dime size amount for my entire head and i only focus it on the ends i don't put it in my roots because it is so heavy even though it says it's like this reparative styling cream if you are a hairstylist or you know anything about hair then you know once your end is split there's no going back it's like a fucking tree if you split a branch on a tree you ain't putting that back together you not i mean maybe the tree would like grow back together maybe not maybe that was a bad analogy <laughs> but anyways once your hair is split it's split for good like the only way to repair that is to cut the motherfucker off and start all over again but I will say it does keep my hair super soft and keep it from continuing to split so where I do have split ends at they will not continue to split up because if you have split ends in your hair and you do not put any type of like reparative products in it your split will continue to split all the way up your head so uh, I really like this and it keeps my hair from being frizzy again I just want to reiterate because my hair is so fine and thin it is very hard for me to find products that are to find products that work that don't like make me look like helmet head or something make my hair super flat i don't like my hair to be super flat i don't like to have like the real wet hair look i just want my curls to be defined i want a little frizz like i fucks with a little frizz because it gives me a little volume which i will go into like all that in my hair video but this works so nice it makes my hair so soft i like trimmed my hair probably i would say like two months ago and i usually have to trim my hair like once every six week i'll go through six weeks i'll go through with like eyebrow scissors and like really because i'm trying to grow it like really go through and like cut my split ends off or I'll go in the mirror and section it out and cut the dead ends off and I feel like since I have been using this because I've been using this for probably about two months that my dead ends aren't as severe and that I don't have as many dead ends so I really really like this next hair thing that I have is another thing that I use for my curly hair that put quite a bit of product in my curly hair to keep it from being frizzy and to keep it to curl is the healthy sexy hair soy renewal cream oil this we stopped carrying it Ulta. You can still get it at Walmart online and like a few various other places online. The only thing that sucks is I saw a review and I don't know if it's true or not because the review was from like a year ago and I hope to God it's not true. Um, I saw a review that said that she thought they had stopped making this and I was like, oh my God, please, no because I love this stuff. The, the, and honestly, it's a blow dry cream. And the thing with my hair is, again, because it's so thin, I can't put a bunch of heavy shit in my hair. And it seems like most of the products that are designated towards 
curly or natural hair or very heavy products i cannot do that so i tend to use like blow dry creams blow dry sprays shit like that for my hair that's not as heavy but it still like gives me hold gives me shine gives me curl whatever um the only weird thing about this is that like there's fucking glitter in it <laughs> i don't know why i don't know if that's like supposed to make your hair look shiny or something and i don't even know if you guys are gonna see yeah probably not you're probably not gonna see that yeah i'm not sure so you tell me in the comments if you can see it or not but i don't know if you can tell or not but there is sparkle or glitter or something in there no you like probably can't see it on the back of my hand that is the one thing i don't like about it is that when i like rub it in my hands i put it in my hair and then I look at my hands, they're just like full fucking glitter girl. <laughs> I don't know what it is about it. I don't know why. But they do have a, I think it's like a oil spray or something like that. Sounds, <laughs> healthy, oh my God. <laughs> healthy, sexy hair has an oil spray, but I just really like the cream. I like the cream so much and it makes my hair so shiny and like helps it curl because it moisturizes it so well, but it doesn't weigh it down. I love it so much. Like I said, you can still get it online. I just all to stop carrying it. And I don't know if that is indefinitely or I really hope not girl because I really like that product very much so. So let's just hope not, let's hope it's it's still a thing that i can still buy it Points. moving on from here into your i guess like body stuff or something i don't know i told you guys i have a lot of things okay uh the first thing i have is let me do a preface let me just preface by saying i am that bitch that is like water has a taste I could taste my fucking water. I know there are so many people out there that are like, bench, it's fucking water. Like what? Water tastes like water, tastes like water, tastes like water. No girl, it does not. I can physically taste whether or not a water is good. Put me up in the motherfucking BuzzFeed video with all those people testing between expensive water and cheap water. I will be that bitch that I can tell because, the, and this happened, I think like, okay, so it's probably been like a year or so, but I remember mentioning in the vlog, and I know a lot of you guys don't watch my vlogs, but I, and those of you who did, uh, and I'll say it again. <laughs> I remember mentioning in a vlog that a few years ago, I had watched this video about bottled water, okay? And how bottled water has a certain pH level in it. And the higher the pH level in your water and the higher the pH level in your body, the less sick you'll be so if you eat a high alkaline diet if you drink things if you constantly put things into your body that are high alkaline it is going to um, make your body high alkaline and disease cannot live in an alkaline body okay so and i've done lots of research on this girl and i can tell the difference between some a water that has a very low ph and a water that has a very high ph Fiji has a really high pH. It has a pH of like seven to eight. Most bottled waters have a pH level of like four or five and not even six, like usually around the four or five range, which in turn means that that water is essentially like drinking tap water. So when you go out and you buy new Aquafina's and your Dasani's, like you're essentially drinking tap water. So you're not helping yourself by drinking that bottled water like you think you are. Do you know what I'm saying? So because of that, when we moved into this house, uh, we bought a new refrigerator and our refrigerator has a water dispenser in it. And we have a filter for the water dispenser. But when I drank the water, I was like, ooh, girl, I don't know. I was like this close to getting pH strips and being like, uh, is it worth it for me? Because we used to buy our water, but 
the thing was is like we were spending so much money on water a month we were spending like 60 to 80 dollars on water a month because we had a water cooler and we would buy these like specific water jugs with like the um water having like a certain ph level and whatever else we're weird girl okay because all we drink is water that's all i drink that's all anybody in my house drinks we only drink water we don't drink pop we don't drink juice we don't drink we just drink water that's all we drink that's all i drink that's all tim drinks that's all aiden drinks every once in a while like on a weekend or something like that aiden will have a pop but for the most part all we drink is water not even for the most part for the all part girl we just drink water veronica okay you catching on uh, so anyway, I had stumbled across this when I was in Myers one day because it said energy and y'all know like I've been fucking with shit that gives me energy. So I had stumbled across this on Myers and it's called Santa Via Mineralized Alkaline Water Power Patch. Uh, energy boost, energy done naturally, water filter with a boost, make any water alkaline. And I was like, excuse me, <laughs> what? So basically what it is, is it's like these little tea bags. You get a box like this, which I just recently found out that Myers quit carrying these. So I'm like, God damn, now I have to order them online. So you get, it's like this little, oh, here's the little slit. It's this little pouch here. On your little pouch, it says improves taste, reduces chlorine, adds minerals, raises pH, which is totally true. So it's this little tea bag here and you can either take the tea bag and like steep it in your water for five minutes i think it says you steep it in your water five minutes and it makes your fucking water alkaline and raises the ph in your water and girl it does so i bought i think i just bought like two bags i had just stumbled across them i bought a couple of bags and i told tim because he's as crazy as i am about the water thing <laughs> i told tim like dude check out these water patches because we were talking about it was like when we just moved in here and we were talking about the water from the fridge. We were like, ooh, I don't know about this like fridge water, even with the filter, cause it don't taste like no BG. It don't taste like no Asagia. So we were kind of jumping back and forth. So I brought this home and I was like, dude, check this out. Like to Tim, like, dude, check this out. Let's try it. And he's like, fuck it, let's try it. We became addicted. Like it makes your water so good. <laughs> girl it makes your water so refreshing and so good like you can physically taste a difference i am telling you right now if you are that water bitch you can physically taste a difference and it has gotten to the point where i cannot live without this now we carry around like metal water bottles and we just drink the water out of our fridge like out of our filter tap or whatever and i my bottle will not go without one of these in it you oh you can also not just steep it but you can just leave it like in your water bottle and it does 10 bottles of water i think like one bag does 10 bottles of water which we usually i'll usually like switch mine out um probably about every five or six days depending on how much water i'm drinking because you can start to taste like when it starts to get worn i know this is crazy because it's fucking water but i'm telling you i promise i promise you can taste the difference i know i'm not the only one i know there's bitches out there just like me who could taste that shit especially when it's the only thing you drink um but i'm telling you guys oh my god it's so good electrolytes antioxidants uh i don't i don't i don't know what the other stuff says because it's in a different language oh <laughs> electrolytes antioxidants no caffeine no calories no sugar it's literally like these little balls that just make your water amazing i'm telling you girl i talk about it like so crazy because i love it so much and now i can't live without it is it expensive yes <laughs> but i'm telling you it it's expensive this box here you get six pouches and it's twenty dollars but I will tell you this, even though this is expensive, it is way cheaper than the amount we were spending on water every month. Because I buy like one to two boxes of this a month, which is like 20 to $40 a month. But when we were like actually buying jugs of water, we were spending like 60 to $80 a month. So we're just crazy about water, girl. Okay, I'll move on, I'll move on. But this is like my favorite thing in the whole entire world and I cannot live without it. Like you could literally take this to a restaurant. You could take it back to a restaurant with you and be like, excuse me, I would just like water with lemon. You could dip your little tea bag in there and then their water tastes good and it 
gets rid of the nasties. Oh, I love it so much. I love it so much. It's like one of my favorite things I've liked. Moving right along, because goddamn this is the longest fucking favorite of anybody of ever of anybody ever. Okay, the next thing is food. And as y'all know, I, if you guys remember, I was on keto for, I, dude, I think I was on keto for like three or four months. Um, and <laughs> oddly enough, I did not find this when I was on keto, but this is something that is keto friendly. So, cause I know a lot of you guys out there are on keto too. Um, but if you watched, was it, it was either my vlog or my get ready with me. I think it was my vlog. Uh, where I told you guys that I am no longer on keto, which I'll be making an entire video about going into why I'm no longer on keto and explain in more detail. But this is a yogurt by Light and Fit and it's called Too Good, like the number two. And it only has two grams of sugar in it. Every single flavor they have only has two grams of sugar in it. And it's actually good. It's 80 calories and two grams of sugar and three carbs, I think. Yeah, three carbs. So it's keto friendly. It's a really good snack. It's a lot of protein because it's yogurt. And it's actually fucking good. I love it. And it's so good. And I just discovered it like two weeks ago. And I'm so happy I did because it's delicious. Okay, I've only got four physical things left. And if I decide to stretch this fucking video out that goddamn long, <laughs> we may talk about TV. The first couple of things I have is, okay, let me just start off by saying I tan in a tanning bed stop right there just stop 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 i know i know like i know girl i know please i love you guys but i do not need to be schooled in the comments about how i should not be getting in a tanning bed and it's gonna do this 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 girl don't you think i know that i know that but i only tan at the beginning of the summer i go a handful of times until i just get like a natural base and then i'm good because this bitch is like we're fucking collards out in the world during summertime i glow i sparkle i'm just too white girl and i can't i just can't okay so I use indoor tanning lotion and I know there's some of you guys out there that tan too because y'all tell me you do. The indoor tanning lotion that I use is Amazing Maui Babe Browning Lotion and this is the tanning salon formula. They also have a um, outdoor formula that you can use outdoors too. Girl, <laughs> when I fucking tell you tanning lotion, it's like so insanely prized bitch there is a fucking bottle of tannic lotion tanning lotion veronica at my tanning salon that costs a hundred and forty dollars a hundred and forty dollars for fucking tanning lotion are you kidding me this is 29.99 it's thirty dollars at all and honestly like don't even fucking buy it at ulta you can go on to the maui babe website and they sell like two for twenty five dollars i think it is might even be two for thirty but it's only 15 bucks a piece if you buy it on the maui babe site the only reason why i buy it at ulta is because i like instant gratification from now on i'll be buying it on maui babe because i don't even get it as cheap with my discount at ulta as i would on their website they constantly have deals on there because i've been looking um, buy it on the Maui Babe website. What is it even? If I remember, I'll leave it. Oh, it's just MauiBabe.com. So anyways, this is literally the best tanning lotion of life. And I'm not saying I've used like 300 tanning lotions. I mean, y'all, <laughs> I'm just a novice. I just started tanning last year, but I have been through probably four to five different kinds of lotions and this one i swear to you i don't know what it is i don't know like if it's because it's all natural and it's not a bunch of chemicals and stuff i don't know what it is dude it's fucking magic it's what it is like how does the cheapest tanning lotion on the market get you the dark it does me it gets me the darkest when i first started tanning last year i had never once ever set foot in a tanning bed ever in my life ever ever girl ever i'm fucking in my 30s and i've never been in a tanning bed i never succumb to the 90s babe like all of you who were like grew up in the 90s know that like the fucking tanning salon is just what you did girl like everybody was tanorexic in the 90s 
But lucky for me, I was so fucking white and I was so fucking goth that I didn't want anywhere near a tanning bed, right? So uh, I had never stepped in a tanning bed before. So y'all know if you pasty pirate and you've never gotten in a tanning bed, the first time you get in a tanning bed, you're going to burn to a fucking crisp girl. And I didn't. I did not burn and I swear it's because of this because this is the first kind I use the reason why I started using this is because all these girls that would like go tanning during the summertime every year I've worked at Alta for this will be my sixth year there in August it'll be six years I've worked at Alta for six fucking years and every summer girls just swarm and come and buy this freaking Maui babe every year they would come in and they would talk about how good the Maui babe was and I, I didn't even tan at the time and I'd be like I don't tan but like is it that good and they'd always be like yes it's that good and you can use it outside you don't have to just use it indoors you can use it like just to lay out or whatever you can use it as both so I was like okay let me try it so when I first got in the tan bed and I tried it it did not burn me and I think it's because it's got aloe in it maybe I don't know but the thing I like about it most is that it is all natural ingredients the ingredients are literally sunflower oil safflower oil kukui nut oil aloe vera Kona coffee plant extract antioxidants vitamins E C A and potassium iodide which is like a um, what's that called what's that called what's it called uh, preservative <laughs> Um, it smells like fucking coffee, not like coffee, but like, God, I don't even know. I always think of coffee, but it's like chocolate coffee. I don't know. It just smells like summer. It reminds me of summer. It doesn't smell like coconut, like, um, the Hawaiian, what's that called? The Hawaiian, con I don't know what it's called. Y'all, my brain, y'all know. Whatever it's called. It doesn't smell like that. It doesn't smell like the typical like oh my god that smells like summer you know what I mean but it does I don't know I don't know how to explain it but it smells really fucking good and I love it so much the one thing that maybe you might not like about it is the fact that it is very or can be very greasy <laughs> like it's all oils so girl you've going to be oily when you're done and you need the smallest amount because when I first started using it I just used too much I would come out of the tanning bed like fucking dripping beach like I was so greasy when I got out that tanning bed so then I learned like oh okay I don't have to use like this a half a hip fucking palm full for one leg you know what I mean you just need like very little because it's an oil so it goes really far along with that I had just discovered this this is the amazing Maui babe after browning lotion tan enhancer and healer I do not know that this like enhances your tan or anything like that but what I will say is that this is one of the most moisturizing <laughs> nicest lotions that smells so fucking good like it doesn't smell like summer it just smells fresh so it's something you could use like all year round it just makes your skin so soft and if you know anything about tanning then you know like you don't want to peel and this keeps your skin from peeling because it's so hydrating and it just like sinks right into your skin even though there's oils in it and you think that because there's like all these oils in it it might be uh greasy but it's not it's so fucking nice and it keeps your skin uh super hydrated because it has glycerin in it and if you know glycerin um attracts like all the moisture from the air onto you wherever you put glycerin like glycerin is a very very moisturizing product but oh my god it's so nice aloe vera gel macadamia nut oil antioxidants a c and e glycerin it's just it's really good and I love it so much so before is this it yes before I get into the tanning bed I put this on I fry my fucking body off and when I get out of the tanning bed I put this on and it is so nice last two things that I have two physical things I'll, I'll just mention the TV shows after this I won't go into like what they're about and stuff like that just watch them girl take my word for it okay so first thing as you guys know if you watched my 
last get ready with me I talked about in that video how I just have not been in a good headspace lately for the past couple of months I felt like maybe my depression was coming back or there was something going on with the chemicals in my body that I had just not been feeling good and it had been going on for a while um, and I don't want to say it yet because I'm gonna talk about it in another video but um, I feel like there were some contributing factors to it, which I'll get into in another video. I won't even talk about it. But whenever I start to feel like that, because I do suffer from clinical depression, whenever I start to feel like that, before it gets to the point where I feel like I need to go on medication, I go the natural route. I do not want to be on medication my entire life. I do not like the idea of a medicine, um making my brain act differently than what it does do you know what i mean and i completely understand that there are some people who cannot just will themselves better i get that but i also feel like you your you have so much power over your brain and um i think a lot of people don't realize like the power of thought i guess and the power of like naturalism and natural products so i started using once that happened i started using more natural products the first product i started using is by hemp lucid and it is cbd oil it is a 250 milligram cbd oil so it's 8.3 milligrams per serving i take this every day um and i love it like i feel like it makes a difference in my mood i feel like it makes a difference in the way that i sleep like i sleep better now and I just really like it. I used to take uh, CBD oil a while ago, but it's just so expensive. That's the only beef that I have with CBD oil is goddamn, like why is it so fucking expensive? This one in particular is a water soluble CBD oil. So that means more of the CBD is able to absorb into your body. I do have another CBD oil that is a 500 milligram, but it is not water soluble. And I feel like this one actually works better. So, and CBD oil too, let me just throw out there, is not something that you can just take and miraculously be better. I know so many people who try CBD oil um, and after trying it for one day, they just kick it to the curb because it doesn't work for them. The thing with CBD oil is that you have to take it every day. It has to be like in your system. Do you know what I mean? It's almost like an antidepressant pill. If you're on an antidepressant, you don't take an antidepressant and all of a sudden become happy. It's something that your system has to get used to and the chemicals in your brain have to work with and you know everything in your body has to work with. So it takes time for it to kick in. So if you are somebody who has tried CBD and you're like, dude, that shit don't do shit for me, try it for longer. Just take it. I mean, what's it going to hurt? You already got it, right? Take it every day. Uh, some people it doesn't work for and that's okay. Take it every day. Um, until it's empty and then see if you see a difference don't just try it for like a day two days three days and decide that it doesn't work just keep on keeping on girl I'm telling you it works so good it helps with anxiety it helps with stress it helps with depression like I fucking love it and who fucking knows maybe it's a placebo but it's a good goddamn placebo for me it's a expensive placebo <laughs> but it's a good one okay and then the last thing i have is also another um like anti-depression-esque uh natural supplement and it is by Irwin solutions i get it at myers and it's called sunny mood feel good feel balanced clarity positive uplifting this has D3, uh, rhodiola, L-theanine, DHA, lemon bulb, and passion flower. So um, I remember, I think in my last, or in that video, that one of you guys had asked me if I had tried DHA. This has DHA in it. So this, along with St. John's Wort um, and Sam E. I'm not currently taking Sam E, but Sam E is another natural supplement that if you suffer from depression or you are just like in a funk you know what i mean and you know you just have no energy and you're like Mer, you don't really feel like doing anything you're super unmotivated try either these 
try DHA or St. John's wort. St. John's wort is something that is on the cheaper end. Like these were 25 bucks and there is 25 servings in here. So it'll last for 25 days. Um, St. John's wort on the other hand has like a 30 day supply for like $8. That is a cheaper end alternative that you could try. Uh, Sam E is actually a lot more expensive than even what this is. Sam E is like 30 to $40 for a 30 day supply, which is why I'm not taking it right now because I wanted to try this and see if it worked. So I started taking it. Oh, I don't even have that many left actually. Uh, I've probably got, um, I would say like a week's worth. So I've been taking it th for three weeks. When I read the reviews online, everybody said like, oh my God, after a day, I took it and the first day it worked. And I'm like, come on now, come on. Where's the real fucking reviews? Like you didn't take this shit after a day and just all of a sudden felt better. But a lot of the reviews I was reading were like, it worked after three days, it worked after four days, just like a very short amount of time. And after three days, I took it and I'm like, okay, <laughs> it's not working. And then after four days, I'm like, okay, it's not working. And five days and six days. For me, it took about a week and a half to close to two weeks for it to start working. But when it did, when I tell you, I like goddamn near jumped out of bed because I had so much fucking energy. I was like, ooh, I'm so excited. It works so fucking wow and i don't know if it's a combination of this two or even maybe it's just like a placebo effect girl who knows but i really do feel like it's doing something so those of you out there who because there were a lot of you guys that commented uh when i talked about that in that video that you were kind of feeling the same way try this out i got mine at myers i'm sure you can get it on amazon hella cheaper if i can find an amazon link to it i'll leave it below um but yes it's amazing and i love it and i feel so much better also i just i love it so much so that is it for my favorites i'm quickly going to give a rundown <laughs> of the tv shows because of course i fucking talked your faces off and I've been sitting here for like an hour and we need to come on and end the video. Okay, so TV shows are as follows. I'm pretty sure I've talked about this one, The Passage, because that one's been done for a while. You can find it on CBS or Flickstore. If you, as with every time I talk about TV shows in a favorites video, if you do not have a Netflix subscription, a Hulu subscription, cable, whatever, there is a website called FLIX. T-O-R dot T-O and you can find virtually any show on there for free. The only downside to Flickstar is that, which this used to not be like this like a year ago, they do have a VIP membership now, which is like 14 bucks a month. Um, and with their membership, you cannot watch anything below 2018, I think is what it is. So if a show is more than a year old, they will not let you watch it without a VIP membership. That's the only downfall. But I go on there mainly to watch like newer stuff. So um, that I just feel the need to mention that. And every time I mention TV shows, because I know not everybody can afford cable or Netflix subscriptions or Hulu or whatever. So first one is The Passage, which I watch on Flickstore, and it's amazing, it's a good show. The second one, one of you guys had actually recommended to me, and it's called Good Girls, and I don't remember which one of you it was, but girl, thank you. Oh my God, it's so good. I love it, I love it so fucking much. Even, I've talked to two friends about it, because they, one of the girls at work was like, oh my God, do you watch this show? And I was like, I fucking love that show. <laughs> and then there was another girl that I used to work with, but I'm still friends with. We were texting. I'm like, dude, have you watched the show? It's so fucking good. Um, another one and good girls, you can start it off on Netflix and finish it out on Flix tour. Um, another one is called Chambers and it is a Netflix original and it's so good. It's about this girl who had like got adopted or something. I can't even remember the storyline right now because I'm like, come on, come on, come on. Um, the next one is called In the Dark. This is a show on the CW and it's about this girl who's blonde, but she's like drunk and like does all crazy stuff. It's so good. It's a really good show. And it, it like every ending of the show, there's like, oh my God, so suspenseful. What's going to happen? It's just really good. And I really like it. And I love the like main character she's so funny okay the next one 
is the hot zone. The hot zone is basically, it's based on a true story about when Ebola came to the U.S. and, or almost came to the U.S. Uh, it's so fucking good, dude. It's scary as fuck because A, it's something that really happened. B, it's something that really could happen in the future. And it, I don't know. It's just crazy. It's really, really good show. And it's like really suspenseful, like crazy. Um, and scary because it's like shit that could actually happen, you know, but God, it's so good. It's so good. The next one is a uh, Netflix original again called What If. I really like this show up until the ending and I won't give anything away. Um, but towards the ending, I was just like, what? <laughs> of course, of course. Of course, that's what it is. You know what I mean? When you watch it, you'll understand. Or if you have watched it, you'll understand. But towards the end, I was like, fucking really? I knew that's what it was. I should have known, you know? It was like soap opera shit. Like, oh my God. Okay, I won't give it away. But it's called What If. But up until that point, it was actually really good because it's like super suspenseful. suspenseful. And you're like, what's going on? What happens? Why, why, why? And then the last one is one that I have mentioned in a favorites video before and I will mention it again because girl if you ain't watching it don't funk are you doing with your life Veronica and that is the handmaid's tale if you have not jumped on the fuck a handmaid's tale train what are you doing with your life if you do not have Hulu and you're like beach I'm not buying Hulu just watch a fucking handmaid's tale you can go watch it on flick store I promise it's so fucking good girl oh my god it's so good like I cannot wait today's Tuesday I'm filming this on Tuesday I literally am like at the edge of my seat waiting on tomorrow's episode because I'm like oh, Serena no I won't give anything away but I feel like I could just like punch Serena in the face just when I thought she was fucking dope I'm gonna go because I just had to restart my camera for the third time so <laughs> that means this bitch is uber fucking long thanks for sitting here with me for eight fucking hours from just a favorites video but I haven't done favorites video in like a couple months and even before that I hadn't done favorites video in a really long time so and I, 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 I yeah yeah okay I'm just gonna go. Y'all like long videos anyways, right, girl? I like long, I like making long videos. I do not like editing them and I do not like uploading them because they take for fucking ever, girl. <laughs> right, so I'm gonna go because I'm, I'm at the point where I'm gonna run out of memory too. So, thank you guys for watching. I love you guys so, so much. Tell me some of your random ass favorites down in the comments below or just say, hey, beach, what's up? You know, I love talking to you in the comments. And that's it, right? Yes. So like it if you like it. Dislike it if you disliked it. Because I fuck up a good dislike here and there. And I will catch you guys in my next one. Peace. Excuse me. You cannot be looking on your genitals during filming. Oh, God. Don't touch my genitals. Don't look at your genitals. Don't look at your Excuse me. Don't lick your genitals while I'm filming. Continue to do oh. Okay. You done? Um, no. Oh, he's not done. Let's get in. Okay, now I have a phone call. <laughs> Any other time, you're like, Koo, why are you so itchy today? Why are you so itchy today? You don't know?